with your whole heart, with your whole voice. Oh, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Oh, we magnify your name. We worship you. We worship you. We'll give you the prize. Give you the prize. You are Yahweh. Somebody jam your hands together for Jesus. Clap your hands and sing to the glory of God. Jesus shall reign forevermore. Hallelujah. He shall reign forevermore. My Jesus shall reign forevermore. Hallelujah. He shall reign forevermore. Jesus shall reign. He shall reign. He shall reign. He shall reign forevermore. My Jesus shall reign. He shall reign in your life. He shall reign forevermore. He shall reign forevermore. Oh, he shall reign forevermore. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus sets me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of
Open thy heavens and let your power come down. Open thy heavens and let your open thy heavens. 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 Open. Yes, Jesus, open thy heavens. I have oh, 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 oh
set the time. Whatever you need tonight, it will come from the God of favor. Pray and say, God, I set the time. This is my time. You saw the rich watch? This is the hour of this crusade. Lord, favor me. Pour down your favor upon my life. Thou shall arise. I have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor you has come. Yea, the set time is come. This is the right hour. The Lord will favor me, will favor you, will favor everyone across the globe, in America, in Asia, in other parts of South America, in other parts of Africa. The Lord will favor everyone in UK, Europe, Russia, every part of the world, India. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Your amen is low. Our Father, we thank you because the time to favor us has come. You look down from heaven upon the world and you have set the time that you want to favor us. Favor us with your salvation. Favor with your sanctification. Favor with your spirit power. Favor with your deliverances. Favor us with your healing. In the name of Jesus. Everything we need in life that pertain unto life and godliness. Lord, favor your people all over the world. In Jesus' name. Let today be a day with a difference. A day we can remember. Lord, we we'll lead our Father and the Lord into your hand. Take him to a higher plane. That he will minister with ease. The power of God, we ooze out for, we go out for, reaching every corner of the globe. In Jesus' name, I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Another louder, amen. Beautiful, that is great. Now we are singing from our program sheet, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. This is a promise of love. There shall be season refreshing sent from the Savior above. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. There shall be showers of blessing, send them upon us, O Lord. Grant us now our refreshing, come and honor the world. There shall be showers of blessing, oh, that today, they might fall. I said today they might fall. I didn't hear your amen. amen. Now as God we are confessing, now as unto Jesus we call. There shall be showers of blessing if we but trust and obey. There shall be showers of bless of refreshing if we let God have his way. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling, but for the showers we plead. Show us a blessing we 
schaut, wie blieb. Wenn Schnuppi schaut, kommt plötzlich ein Schuss wie ein wie We remain standing as we go into intercessory prayer. We're going to stand up and call upon the name of the Lord and bless his name for giving us the opportunity to be at the GCK tonight. I want you to bless the Lord. GCK has lasted for over two years now, and the Lord has done great things in our lives, great, great things in the body of Christ. In many churches, and in our church in particular, all over the world, let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. The miracles we have experienced, the testimonies our ears have heard, the great things our eyes have seen. Psalm 65 verse 1 says, Praise with death for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. And it says in verse 2, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. We have approached, we have come to the presence of the God of heaven that answered prayers. So begin to bless the name of the Lord. The Lord has been good to you as an individual. The Lord has been good to, to your family, to your church, and to uh, the deeper Kisela ministry all over the world. Let's bless the name of the Lord. And now we're going to call upon the Lord that, O oh Lord, let the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ spread like a wide fire. We're interceding for nations 
that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will penetrate all nations of the earth. And the gospel will spread like a bushfire, like a wildfire, uncontrollable, unpredictable. And all areas that are spiritually combustible will catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The Messianic Psalm, Psalm 22, verse 27 says, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Pray that this will come to pass in our own generation, at our own time, that all the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations, small and great, educated and illiterate, Anywhere they are, they will worship before the Almighty God in spirit and in truth. Having been born again, cleansed, restored, baptized in the Holy Spirit, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Pray that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will be preached in all nations, according to the word of God. And Psalm 72, verse 8 says, he shall have dominion also, that's our Lord Jesus Christ, we have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. Pray that this will be fulfilled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Christ will have dominion in the hands of men all over the world. In Jesus' holy name we pray. I want to encourage those of us that are just joining the crusade. Make sure you don't distract anyone. Just join quietly when in, in the intercessory prayer session, and we need to lift up our voices to really intercede for nations. Now, I want to draw your attention to the fact that there are some nations that have been ring fenced by the devil, barricaded by the devil, that the devil is not allowing the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to reach unto the soul that have been created by the Almighty God. This is not right and should not be allowed. We are going to now pray that, oh God, wherever the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ has been barricaded, you know, from the people, maybe through religion, through legislation, through ideology, through any movement, we are going to pray that the Lord will break down all the gates of brass and all the, all the uh, you know, uh, iron bars, the Lord will cut them in sunder. Let's call upon the Lord. Psalm 107, verse 16, it says, For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Call upon the Lord that the Lord will break those barriers down. They might have used it, you know, through technology to prevent the people from hearing the gospel. Let's pray that the gospel will penetrate all the same. And Psalm 9, verse 2 says, The people that walk in darkness, they have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them are the light shine. Pray that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will shine and penetrate into all the nooks and crannies of the world, all quarters of the world, all tribes and tongues, all races and all lands. They will experience the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. And the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. Let's ask that the Lord will give us nations and the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, particularly through the GCK, will continue to spread into unrich places that the gospel will see reach those areas. Now we want to now pray for our Father and the Lord, the arrowhead of the GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, we're going to lift him up before the Almighty God, the Father. We pray that to continue to strengthen our Father and the Lord. Pray that as his years, so shall his strength continue to be. And pray. In Acts chapter 4, verse 29, it says, And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. That with all boldness, our Father in the Lord, the man of God, will continue to preach the word of God. I believe you are praying. 
And in verse 30 of that same Acts chapter 4, it says, By stretching forth thy hand to heal, pray that the Lord will stretch forth his hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. That tonight, miracle signs and wonders we have never seen before, unprecedented miracles, mighty miracles, incredible things will begin to happen in the crusade of tonight. Not only in, at the Alpha location, but all over in all the places where people are gathered, connected to this GCK, even online as well. The Lord will extend the miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ unto them. Miracle of salvation, miracle of deliverance, miracle of restoration, through the anointing of the Lord upon the man of God. And I want you to also remember other ministers that are working with him, that the anointing of the Lord will come upon all of them, that through this GCK, mighty things will be all. And I want you to present your need before the Almighty God. Why are you at the crusade of tonight? Tell the Lord what you want him to do for you. The Lord is hearing and answering your prayers. Call upon the Lord. He's a merciful and gracious Lord. He has all power and all strength. He can do all things. Your own will not be an exception. Call upon the Lord. What do you want God to do for your family? What do you want God to do for your children? What do you want God to do for your neighbors? What do you want God to do for even, you know, Everybody that's, um, you know, your, your, I mean, your loved ones, people that are connected to you, be a contact point on their behalf. I believe, I believe everyone is praying. Call upon the Lord that tonight mighty things will be done. Begin to wrap your prayers up, and we're going to pray together now. Almighty Father, we thank you and we bless you for this short period of prayer that we have come to the throne of grace. Lord, we have asked a lot of things. We have blessed your name, but we are also asking that the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will spread like a wildfire and reach all the, the corners of the world and save souls and bring multitudes into, into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh God, that tonight, mighty miracles, signs and wonders will be wrought at the crusade of tonight, and every one of us will be partakers in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, those who are online as well, they will not be spared of your blessing. Your blessing will come like a benediction upon everyone tonight in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, because we've had and answered our prayers. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. God bless you. GCK June Portacot edition that started on Thursday. By God's grace, it continues. It will end tomorrow. Though it's ending tomorrow, the memory will never leave you. The testimony we never stop in your mouth. The miracle will continue flowing in you, in your family, in those around you, in Jesus' name. The ministers, church workers, and professional conference we hold tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the last day. So we want all our workers all over the world, all professionals, all over the world, all ministers, all over the world, businessmen all over the world, avail yourself and be in the location where you are be going. For those of us in the Alpha location here, we'll be having it in Dr. Obiwali International Conference Center, GUAK Road, Portacot, tomorrow, 7 a.m. Please tell other ministers, other people around you, and bring them. 
all our weekly meetings continue the way is stated at the back of the program. The days and the times are stated there. Avail yourself of the opportunity and be blessed. And let the ministry of the convener of GCK continue to, 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 to multiply and pour your life in Jesus' name. There be a special banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ. Then, apart from that, 2nd of July, 2022, we'll be having convert banquets. In the Alpha location here, we'll be having it on that very date, 3 p.m., by God's grace. Then, the convener of GCK will want me to tell you that He'll be delighted to have you to join this special banquet. Water baptism will take place on the 8th, that is second Saturday of July, 2022. Second Saturday, July 2022. Why the banquet is 2nd of July, 2022. 2023, please. Praise the Lord. For ministers and other people are here, you are welcome in Jesus' name. We believe God, people from all denominations, all walks of life are here because GCK is for everyone. It's not denominational. God bless everyone. We now bring you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world.
bear a witness. To what his plans are. To what his words God has spoken. Let the church say. Respond to whatever he says from the healing of your body to the raising of the dead. No matter how you're feeling or how your world is free, but it runs through the night because you're gonna win the fight. Even in the morning, or standing at your rest. Because your help is on the way. I had it. So let the church say, All we needed was a word from the Lord. We've got it so. Let the church say,
bisexuality culture. <laughs> and you should try. But why is that? What have, what have I done? You have few days to live. <laughs> but why? Why is that? Why? You've done nothing. It's a generational cause. Now is your turn. And you need to carry the cross. <laughs> Very big one at that. Trouble? What is it? You see, I, I, I had a very dangerous dream. And I don't just know how to relive that dream because I don't know how you're going to take it. Hey, 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 no, at least just try and tell me the dream. At least let me hear it first. No matter how terrible the dream seems to be, let me hear it. I saw something. Ah, what did you see? What? You see, I saw you in my dream. I saw someone running after you so speedily. And eventually, you were kicked and you died. What? <laughs> and Johnson, you know me very well. You know me very well. My dreams usually come true. I reject it in Jesus' name. Ah, this one will not be an exception. It will come true. No, it will not come to pass in Jesus' name. It will come to pass. Ha! Trust. I hope so. I hope so too. But Jason, don't deceive yourself. This will come true. Ha. Ha. Somebody had a dream, and you say, I'm afraid to tell you this. I don't know you will take this. I don't know you will accept this. You say, talk now. What's the problem? I saw something. What did you see? I saw you, and they carried you. And any time I dream, that thing always comes through. That's what I'm afraid to tell you. Because it's like this. Satisfy me and show me your salvation. Remember that I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Remember, O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? Remember, O oh Lord, remember. Remember. He had record. You will have record. He knew that he had record in heaven. He looked at his life. And he looked at the way he's done things right according to the watch of the Lord. He said, Lord, you must be keeping records. Find out my name there. My name is there in the book of life. And my record is there. Find out about me. You are going to discover that I won't die now. I said, you are going to discover that I won't die now. I cannot die now. I have records. Heaven has my record. Jesus has my record. I cannot die now. Since I refuse to die, I will not die. I will not die. God has your record. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Saved by the grace of God. And reaching in the book of life in heaven. Evangelizing edifying believers. Doing this and doing the right thing. There's a record for you in heaven. You cannot die now. I have heard thy prayer. Somebody there, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tear. Turn around. Are you crying as if you're an orphan? Are you mourning as if you're an orphan? Come on. We can change this thing today. 
I said we can change this thing today. I am not an orphan. I am not an orphan. I have a father. Yes. I am not an orphan. I will not cry. I have a father. We can change this thing. It is changed now in Jesus' name. Say, come and die. I will not come. Hmm? I will not come in Jesus' name. I will not die in the name of I will not come. I will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not die but live in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not come. No, you are not going. I will not allow you to go. Jesus does not allow you to go. And the prayer this morning will cancel everything. Who is that? That's Papa Kumoyi. That's my pastor. Papa Kumoyi says he will not allow me to come. Jesus will not allow me to come. God's servant is speaking over my life and over everybody now. And so the heavens will not allow me to come. And so therefore, I shall not die. The man is not ready to die. He will not die. Whatever the man refuses will not happen. Whatever you say no to you will not happen. Whatever you say no, that is not for me. I said that is not for you. The man has refused to set house in order to die. He will not die. I'm talking about somebody there today. I said I'm talking about somebody there today. And so therefore, I renounce you and death in the name of Jesus Christ. Since you've refused to die, you will not die now. See, someone must die. And you don't want to die now. So, I have to go in your place. Save Johnny. Save Johnny in Jesus' name. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. Save Johnny. I will not die, but I will live to declare the works of the Lord. I will add unto thy days, tell me, 15 years. Make it personal. I will add unto my days, 15 years. That's not 15 years from now, but 15 years from when it was supposed to end. Not 15 years from today. So don't say that, you know, I got 15 years. Uh -uh, you have not started counting the 15 years. When it was supposed to age, from that point, you now have an extra 15 years. I will add unto thy days. Tell me now. 15 years. I shall not die but live. I say I shall not die but live. Additional years to us in Jesus' name. And amen. We want to listen to some few testimonies right now. Testimony, they are proof of God's authentic power, his unfailing power to help his creature. You are the next one online who will give testimony. Please, let's have the testimony. I'm Dr. Olafiso Ekale, medical practitioner. A young lady is standing be beside me, and she has a wonderful story to tell. Can you go ahead? Please? Praise the Lord. Praise the Master Jesus. I'm not hearing your hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Shalom Peter. I am from Rumara District, Obakri Group, Emoha region. I'm here to testify to the glory of God 
of what God delivered me from last night. For over eight years now, since when I was six years old, I've been suffering from nose bleeding. And whenever this occurs, it occurs when I do hard chore or work under the sun or maybe do some domestic work. Before you know it, I will start bleeding from my nose. So yesterday, when the program was going on during the, um, the nation choir, the first choir sang the healing from the, so, so something healing. So when they were singing, I started bleeding. So I was like, thank God, because today, you ha this thing has come to an end. And after I was praying, my mom told me I should raise my head up so that to stop. So I was just praying, I was praying. When the Father in the Lord came, after his message, he said we should raise our hand and place our, our, the other hand where the, we have the challenge. I did that. And after the prayer of the man of God, something happened. I could not find one single atom of blood on my nose anymore. It's dried up, and I believe that my healing has come. Eight years of nose bleeding, gone. Praise the Lord! She had what we call the nose bleeding, is what the medical term called epistasis, recurrent epistasis. Give a clap offering to Jesus. It has gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Beside me here is a young man by name, Michael Okonko. He has a wonderful testimony to share with us. Can you go ahead? Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. I am a happy, happy person as I'm standing here now. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. I can tell you since over 15 years now, I was suffering what they call arthritis. But yesterday, although I came here on Thursday, I was praying that God will touch me. And yesterday night, when the man of God prayed, and all my problems be over, do you know that this particular sickness wants to paralyze one, of my, one side of my body? But God said no. I say, God, who have done it for me, may his name alone be glorified. He did it through man of God, through the prayer of man of God. I say, God, by your power, keep the man of God to continue in his ministry in Jesus' name. Again, uh, although I can't continue now, the remaining testimony, I will give it to my region because I'm from Oibo, local government. Praise the Lord. And Praise the Lord. You have just shared with us, you have a recurrent joint pain, and that's the medical terminologist arthritis. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's gone forever in Jesus' name. Your amen is called. The next testifier is Celestine, Celestine uh, Insani. Is here to tell us his story. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've been given time, and I want to be sure I finish within the time. In February 2012, I was in Port Harcourt here in the church. I had a signal that I should come, my house is on fire. And I was, in, I was teaching in the church. I was on point two. My mind said, how can you leave the church, leave the people because of an incident? So I signaled and said, let them not worry that nobody will die. I actually saw the smoke from the story building where the church was, that it was born in my house. And I don't know how it happened, but later I knew what happened. I turned and then stayed in the church, finished the message and canceled some people. I came down. By the time I got to the house, I saw what has happened. I almost shed some tears. But the Lord at that instant said, don't worry. A single soul is more than all this 
I will give you back. That comforted me. The brethren that were standing and pitying me did not know what I've had. That consoled me. And uh, but before this time, what the Lord had been putting in my mind, I should go to the village and have the own church. Because brethren have been inviting me. I said, what will I do there? There's no job I will do there. I'm into construction. And will I go to the village? Where will I see construction work? To the glory of God, I moved in obedience to the word of God and got to the village. And when I got to the village, no other work to do. I had to learn farming, and I started it with all strength. That gave me a problem that affected my ribs, 2017. My wife is well aware. When this thing comes to me, I don't know how to handle it. But I attended to it medically in the way I should do. By the grace of God, on Monday, they, they flashed that the crusade would be here. I was so excited in the church. And on Thursday, we were in the church. We couldn't make the way to come to Port Harcourt because I had to mobilize the people to come to Port Harcourt. And on that Thursday, after the GS prayed, he mentioned instant miracle. And while he, he asked us to lay our hands on our body, where I had a problem was my wrist here. I, I took my fingers to different parts within my heart, within my wrist, and pressed it hard. I was surprised at the end of the prayers. I felt a relief. I called my wife. I said, I'm feeling something. That I will tell you something. From that Thursday till now, within all that time, I cannot drink cold water. Within that time, I cannot drink cold water. But I was surprised that from the day I came here, I've been drinking cold water because there's no access to hot water. The Lord that took away these three pains will do it to everyone that believes in Jesus' name. He had five years of uh, right rib pain, and the medical condition is what we call coastal chondritis. And praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is that the much you can say? I said, praise the Lord. You are the next online to give your testimony. God bless you. Today, touching, touching Jesus today. Touch one touch, one touch from His hands. Takes all sickness away. One touch, one touch from His hands. Oh, touching Jesus today, touching, touching Jesus today. She whispered this words through her pain. Touch it, Jesus. Touch it, Jesus. He saw that matter. He saw the matter. And your life will never be the same. Just one way to touch me. Just believe. Just believe. Thank you. 
all your pains away. One touch, one touch from his hands. Touching Jesus tonight, touching, touching Jesus tonight. Oh, just one touch, one touch from his hands. Takes all sickness away. One touch, one touch from his hands. Touching Jesus tonight, touching, touching Jesus tonight. Our oh, man. Jesus, she came, and when the crowd tried to restrain her, she whispered this was true her pain, touch it, Jesus, touch it, Jesus. One way to touch me, just believe, just believe, just believe when you call on his name. Oh, touch it, Jesus, touch it, Jesus, he's all that matters. When your life will never be the same. There is only just one way to touch me, just believe, just believe. One way to touch him, just believe, just believe when you fall on his name. Touch him, Jesus, touch him, Jesus, touch him. he's all that matters. It's all that matters. And your life will never be the same. There is only just one way to touch him, just believe, just believe. One way to touch him, just believe, just believe when you call on his name. Just one touch from the king changes everything, changes everything. Just one touch, just one touch from the king changes everything. Yeah.
Praise the Lord. I welcome you to this fifth day of the Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui titled Supernatural Freedom Through Christ. The Lord has been faithfully visiting us over the past few days and we have seen miracles of all kinds, salvation of souls. We have seen people being delivered and set free from different oppressions by the devil. And tonight is no exception. So please come with high expectations and the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. Before the man of God comes up, please join me to welcome our guest artist for tonight, Jonathan White, as he leads us in praise and worship. God bless you. Friends, it's great to be back with you again. Welcome back for another night of this global crusade. Aren't you thankful? I'm sure some of you have already experienced his power throughout this global crusade. Uh, Dr. Kumue has been speaking and sharing his heart. I've been singing, sharing my heart. You all have been worshiping with all of your heart. And I am thankful. And uh, I started off with the first night trying to teach you a song from Jeremiah 29 11. A friend of mine wrote for me called uh, God has got a plan for me. And I hope some of you have experienced some of his plan throughout this crusade. And, uh, in, and if you have, let people know, testify about it. Tell somebody what's going on in your life. Be excited for Jesus' power. And uh, this is a global crusade, so tell somebody that you don't know. Reach out to somebody. Let them know how you're feeling and how God has touched your life, how you've had that breakthrough, whether it be physical, spiritual, financial, a relationship that God has healed. You know, let people know that God has done a breakthrough in your life. So I want you to sing with me again about God's plan for your life. Uh, hopefully you know it by now and can just open up, let your head back and just sing the words with all of your heart that God has got a plan for me. Doesn't want to harm me. Go 
hands up and sing it with me. God has got a plan for me. No matter what the circumstance may be, times I may not understand, still my life is in his hands. He's got a plan for me. Times I may not understand, still my life is in his hands. God has got a plan. You're thankful to be redeemed tonight. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. Yes, I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed. By the blood. By the blood. That Jesus shed for me. I'm redeemed. Oh, yeah. Are you glad to be redeemed tonight? Come on. 